Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2013 Ram 1500 in white. This one is the outdoorsman package. It has the Ram box. It's a crew cab. Pretty sharp looking truck. Has a good stance to it. Has really low miles, so it is a pre-owned truck. It's got the fog lights here in the front, the tow hooks. Does have the aluminum wheels and there is some tint on the glass pretty dark tires look almost new has four-wheel disc brakes Ram boxes are pretty cool um, before I open those though I'm gonna go ahead and start it because everything has to be locked before I can start it with the key Now it started, I'm going to go and unlock everything. And that unlocks all the doors, the RAM boxes, and the tailgate. RAM boxes are pretty cool. They got lights, they got drains. There's one there, one there. towing package this one has the factory spray and bed liner as well as the um, your cargo management system there which is it's locked in place so nobody can steal it so you do need a key to unlock it Let's see what it looks like on this side You see the RAM box on this side is the same. And what's cool about the RAM box is it's lockable and it's pretty much out of the way. And you can see it uses the space in the back of the truck that normally the wheel wells would be. So it's not really taking up any space from the bed too much. A little bit, but it's kind of usually not the space in, that you normally use. really good idea the ram box is all right so let's go ahead and check out the back seats now it does have a like a brown and tan interior color combination you got a speaker here in the door pocket there there got your window control there here's an armrest with cup holders that folds out of the way you have some cup holders down here as well power supply there there's your vents you do have vents underneath the seat blowing back here and lift the seat up and you see it has a, a, a storage area right here and on this side you've got more storage and it keeps stuff in there so it doesn't roll out these things here fold out and that gives you a flat surface in order to um, have a like a you're picking up something from Lowe's and it's raining and you don't want it to get something in the back of the truck you can fold these down these little legs fold out folds out flat and you can slide it in here so that way you don't have to put it in a seat get some clothing hooks up there right here is a nice big slush mat that goes all the way across underneath the mat and this is on both sides of the truck you do have a store and floor I believe it's called it's a storage system inside the floor and it has a little a liner that comes out and you can empty it clean it drop it back in there and it stores just like under the, the seat it's completely out of the way We've got heated side mirrors and power folding side mirrors too so I'm gonna go ahead and since I used the remote start, I still have to take the key and put it in place and turn the truck on. So now everything's on. Um, here's the inside of the front door. 
you got your pockets there, speaker, pocket here, door locks, window control, side mirror control adjustments, and a power fold, which makes it fold in. Both of the mirrors there will fold in and out, and that way you can squeeze through an area that's really tight. You have automatic headlights, electric seat with lumbar support, tilt steering column, you have the nice heavy duty slush mats here in the front as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. Alright, let's gonna go ahead and start with the steering wheel. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel with good thickness, very comfortable. It is like a brown in color. Hopefully you can pick that up in the video. Cruise controls settings are on this side. You have a volume button on the back of the steering wheel back here. And I can change the stations on the back of the steering wheel on this side. And then turn the volume back down. And on this side you have your voice recognition button as well as your Bluetooth. Compare your phone to the system and answer it in the phone or make phone calls just by pushing this one button here on the steering wheel. Right here in the middle of the gauges, you see there's a screen here. You have, right now it's set to your uh, miles per hour. On the left is your digital compass where it's, say it's facing east. It's 88 degrees outside. This truck has 6,528 6, miles on it. And that's a menu system, which I can scroll through using these buttons here. So I'm going to scroll through just to show you the different information it has in it. It is a customizable screen, and you can you kind of set it up the way you want it, which is pretty cool. It gives you a little bit more options in addition to your Uconnect system as well. There's your four-wheel drive controls there. Right up here we've got like a little storage pocket. I guess you can put your cell phone or whatever there. And here's your 8.4 Uconnect system. It does have navigation, Sirius satellite radio, and uh, Sirius SM, XM radio. It does have a CD player, USB auxiliary inputs, as well as SD card reader and um, Bluetooth. So there's lots of ways to connect to this stereo system. You do have a uh, rear view mirror that's automatically dimmed. Climate control buttons are right here. You do have the redundant buttons down here just in case you need to use them. But you can always use them right up here on the screen. Here's your navigation. Um, you can set your address. You can view the map. It has a really nice view of, you know, the really nice view. Now shows you your speed limit, shows you your speed, and um, and cool things like that. Now you do have your digital temperature outside, compass, time is right here. Um, this is where when you pair your phone, you'll have your phone book and different settings here. You connect apps, pretty cool amount of features on the apps. You can down, download different apps for it. It does have the travel link to where you can see fuel prices, weather, uh, movie listings, sports, stuff like that. And you can set up as a Wi-Fi hotspot the vehicle, so it's pretty neat. A lot of each feature there. Some of those are that you have to pay for, so to keep that in mind. And you can always turn the screen off if it's distracting you while you're driving. So there's your extra volume button there. You can tune on that side, different stations. There's your climate control buttons again. You do have your traction control and your tow and haul button storage pocket there you do have a 115 volt um, power outlet here it is 150 watts so it's not like you're not gonna be able to use like a get for like a hair dryer or something like that but something small maybe charging a laptop or something like that electronic device storage pocket right in here you got cup holders more storage pockets power supply there 12 volt little storage pocket there and there there's your shifter now here you have this nice big uh, armrest and it also opens up 
and you do have this big area where you can put a small laptop or a tablet or a cell phone in here place to put some coins right here is where you'll find your SD USB auxiliary and USB charger ports right there so it's kind of convenient you can lay a tablet in here and plug it in the charge you can also put an SD card in there use it like a hard drive to play songs off of same thing with the USB port and the auxiliary input Opening up the second stage of this is a huge storage pocket with some little side pockets there and there's where your CD player is. Play your CDs in there. It is kind of like an option now so they kind of move the location from the dash to there so they can they can add it if somebody wants it. You have a storage pocket in here like an extra glove compartment and you have a normal glove compartment there. You have auto dim rear view mirror right here is your garage door controls right here this little thing here is an infrared sensor for your climate control this button is for your power rear window you got some tap lights the visors have mirrors and lights in them same thing on that side You do have handles getting in. This truck has a little bit of a stance, so you do have handles here and for the rear passengers. And you have airbags pretty much all the way around. You have the side airbags, front airbags. Let me see what the seats look like. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's underneath the hood. This one does have the 5.7 liter Hemi. I forgot to mention you do have the side pocket here on both sides it's supposed to fit a full-size file folder so you can put papers and stuff in there a lot of storage options in this truck all right just lift the hood and it lifts right up with the shocks there this is a 5.7 liter Hemi it does have uh, VVT and MDS Everything is everything that you would normally check on your own is in yellow. You have an insulated battery. Alrighty, there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, my email address and phone number is in the description. See you next time.